Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. You'll have to excuse the little bit of wind. Hopefully the microphone doesn't pick too much of it up. Today, for a bit of fun, I'm gonna to talk to you about living in Chernarus. Now, for those of you who play DayZ, Chernarus is your basic vanilla map. Now, the Chernarus is actually based on an area of the Czech Republic. It was supposed to be after a Russian invasion and then a zombie apocalypse. Where I live, in the former Czech Slovakia, is in northeast Slovakia, close to the borders of Poland and Ukraine. And my area actually uses, for example, Cyrillic writing. And because there hasn't been as much development as in the West, in the Czech Republic, a lot of the old socialist artifacts are still around and are part of daily life. So when I play DayZ, for me it's quite amusing to see these different items and to know that I use them on a daily basis. Right, to start the ball rolling. This is something I'm sure all of you have encountered at some point. It's what saves your life. Except in the game, it begins with the letter P. Now, most people who play DayZ don't know how to pronounce Slavonic language. So they, they call it Pajka. It's actually pronounced Maika. And Maika means, it's like a sweet version of the name Maria. It's like a familiar version, Maika. And Maika, I can't imagine eating this without bread. Mm. I mean, it smells really nice, but you're not going to dip your fingers in and eat that. You're going to spread it on bread first. It's basically a, a pate made of meat. It doesn't really describe what meat, but that is what you're finding when you eat pajka. The next thing that really amuses me, unfortunately I broke mine, these are really easily breakable, is the sharpening stone. This is what you find in toilets and garages, and those outhouses. They easily drop, uh, they easily break when they drop. But these sharpening stones, are actually for sites. Now where I live, when I first came out here, there was no mechanical or electric grass cutting. Everybody used a scythe. I used a scythe, I still have a scythe, but I only use it on really sort of tough crop-like grass. Interestingly, these sharpening stones have a sheet which goes on the belt, like that. And this sheet, you fill with water because this stone has to be wet. Except with a scythe, you spend most of your time sharpening with a hammer sort of a very small anvil because you have to beat it back into shape. But those sharpening stones, it's for a scythe, not a knife. Next, 
I'm sure you all recognize this. This is what's called a KA bayonet. On Daisy. And it is in fact an AKM Mark II. Now this specific model that I have is an Ijmash bayonet. It's actually produced in the armory in the arsenal in Russia, or was, in the late 60s. The sheath, which doesn't come on Daisy, comes with a wire cutter. see it's not much useful for general purpose and survival it sort of has one object this is the fans of Bakelite actually everything the, the communists produced came in Bakelite form since the update last year it's now necessary on Daisy to have one of these this is I believe Polish is very cheap and I actually use this when I go in my attic because we have lots of bats and we also have a type of mouse called the yellow bat mouse which can carry the hand of greatest interest to mm, Daisy players is this the filter because this is what you have to replace recharge the charcoal now to be honest I don't know how much charcoal this has or how much asbestos in some ways it's probably safer not wearing one of these than wearing it Socialism didn't really have that high uh, health and safety standards. But that is your socialist gas mask, your respirator. And just like with just like with diving masks, you basically have to spit inside the, the glass and rub it in to stop it steaming up immediately. This is what's called a drustvo, or it used to be called. This is an old socialist farm. And if any of you have ever played the Rus Former mod, you'll get lots of those vehicles here. I'm sure most of you recognize this bad boy. Extremely popular for wood collecting and wood delivery. Some really cool old trucks here. But I'm sure many of you have driven these around on Chernoros. There's another one. Pretty damn cool.
as you can see this is another through fall with another long barn every village has one because this is where cooperatively everybody brought their cows to be milked under socialism and then a single cow herd would take them all out to pasture oh there's a red deer running across the field over there young here we can see in this shot your bus station where you normally find shoes or a bag and also Cyrillic entrance to a village and Latin language obviously One thing they do love out here are Altanox, somewhere to sit, drink and eat. This is where you'd find your rifle or your hunter backpack, just to the side of the road. It's a really beautiful and wild area. Slovakia has the highest percentage of woodland in Europe. There's a lot of big beasts running around out here. Bears, wolves, deer, lynx. There's even moose and bison and beaver. Absolutely stunning place. And here is an onion dome church in a very, very tiny remote village. A hunting tower. These are literally all over this region. Every edge of a field has one. Now one big difference between Daisy and here is the sheer amount of wildlife that walks around this place. Especially large herds of red deer. It's not like on Daisy where you have to walk kilometers just to find one. I wonder if there's a, a waterproof bag or a blaze in that. Maybe a tundra. And here's another one. Another hunting tower. And just over here, the reason why they have them. And here's the drinking well. These are all over the place. Next to an old Rus former Russian ambulance. I hope you enjoyed that little tour of Cherno. While Slovakia does have a modded Daisy map for itself, which is the Banov map, it's actually set in the Banska Bystrica region, which is about three, three and a half hours drive west of where I live. For me personally, living here, 
uh, China Rus is much more similar to what I see on a daily basis. Perhaps parts of Rostov as well, which is Poland. Poland is only a few kilometers from where I live. Northern Poland. Southern Poland. As for the cars, when I first arrived there were very, very few cars here. And most of those what you would have called Sarka which is the old Škoda 120. There are still the odd one driving around, but you don't see them very often. The Arda, the Lada Neva, is extremely popular still with hunters and farmers because you just point those in any direction and they go, regardless of the, the incline or the mud, the conditions. They're slow, but they get places. Also, Lada constantly revises the model. They look the same as they did 40 years ago, but, you know, there's a more modern version. Anyway, I hope you like the video. If I see more things or think of more things about the similarities to Daisy and real life, I'll post a video. Please like the video and give me your comments ask what you want to see next and as always be free <laughs>